Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, day after Christmas. The, the weather's pretty nice today, but the air quality is really bad. Um, Chingy and I woke up and kind of had watery eyes and a headache, so it's not always the best place here in China. You can kind of see, like behind me, uh, everything's kind of foggy in the distance. There's definitely the air pollution, but enough with the, uh, the bad stuff. Um, everything's going pretty good. We're kind of making plans for the new year. So uh, I think that we might go visit some of our foreign friends. When you're an expat in a country, uh, you make a lot of foreign friends. So look forward to that. Um, I hope everything's going well back home. Uh, I could talk a little bit about what it takes to, to make the videos. Uh, you get a little embarrassed, or I do. When you put the camera up, you want to be polite to everybody, and um, you know if you video record somebody and put it on the internet, they might not know. I, I try to avoid that as much as possible, but I'm getting a little more bold about where I put my camera up and where I make the videos. I want to try to uh, be polite, but still show as much of China as I possibly can. So that's that's kind of the thing. And again, it, it takes quite a bit to, of time to put the videos together. That's why I haven't posted in a long time. For every minute of video, you have to like record it, and then you have to watch it to see what you have, and then you have to reframe it, because I use the 360 camera, and then you have to watch how the reframe moves, so that's a third time, fourth time you watch it, and then you usually have to watch the whole video all the way through to make sure that it doesn't do any weird spinny things. Uh, it can take anywhere from five to ten times of rewatching the video. Uh, if you add music, that's an extra time you have to watch it. Um, so for every minute of video that a content creator puts out, you can like multiply that by like five or ten minutes of of what it takes to put the video together. So uh, I really appreciate all the other content. Can, uh, creators and how much work they put into their videos and so I try to give them a like a little, a little plug there um, and you get a little better over time so I want to say stick with me I'll improve uh, I'll try to improve it a little bit on each video uh, I noticed the volume like the audio quality isn't the best on my camera so I'll look into buying a little better microphone, like a little wireless microphone, but uh, stick with me. The videos will get better and better as I move along. Uh, we, can, uh, we, can, we can show some, some pretty cool stuff. So today, I'm in Nanhu Park. This is right across the street from the neighborhood that I live in. Uh, Nanhu Gongyuan in Chinese is South Lake Park in English. And this is, this is a lake, this is an artificial lake. And it, it's just a really beautiful place. Right now, it's it's probably the ugliest it is all year because the leaves have fallen off the trees. Everything's kind of dead. You know, the air quality is bad in the winter time because we live in a valley, and all of the it kind of has this cold vapor lock in the bottom where all of the cold air sits in the bottom, and all the pollution stays in that little bubble of cold air, and all the wind that comes over the mountain tops just kind of glazes over the top of, of the city and doesn't flush out all of the air pollution. So that happens that happens a bit in the winter. It doesn't really rain much so we don't get any pressure differences to kind of flush the valley's pollution out. If it gets bad enough they, they start to have some uh, vehicle restrictions where if your license plate number ends in an odd number then you can't drive on the odd days of the, the month. If your license plate ends in an even number, you can't drive uh, within certain city limits on the even days of the month. And it's only in like the city center, you know, the most popular populated area um, where there's the most traffic. So uh, they, they try to mitigate the, the air pollution as much as possible. They even go around and uh, we have a lot of street food vendors and uh, Sichuan cooking it always starts with a good healthy amount of oil and then they, they they bring the oil up to almost like deep fryer levels and they throw the garlic and the spices in so they like they scorch the spices um, and it creates a lot of vaporized oil smoke so the local police 
it will chase around the street vendors saying that you're adding to the pollution you can't uh, you can't cook for this time and then it's kind of funny because the street vendors will just kind of find a little better place to hide because we really love the street food kind of depend on it a little bit because it's affordable and cheap and tasty and um, you can get a, a good package of fried rice with like meat and vegetables and everything in it for I don't know like two American dollars about 14 or 15 yuan so that's a that's a thing that happens in our city every once in a while they kick the street vendors around um, right now is one of those times so we have to kind of, kind of hunt our, our dinner down um, pretty interesting you never know where the guy that you like that cooks the thing that you like might be we have a little wechat groups too where we can ask them we're like hey are you cooking today like where are you and then they'll send you the location in the group chat so there's ways to get around it definitely totally different law enforcement than what i'm used to back in the united states the kind of like suggestions and the penalties aren't quite as great they even go as far as to like take your cart so the the street food vendors have you know carts on wheels that they remove every night and then they bring it out when they want to work but if it gets bad enough and they warn the street vendors enough they'll actually take trucks out and they'll like repossess your uh your rig so that happens but it's uh it's really a lot different than in the united states it never gets violent you know there's never any fights or anything it might be some yelling and a big crowd will like come around but uh those usually settled pretty domestically uh, so i don't think i'll ever be able to to videotape that there are certain things that that uh, i'd rather not videotape but i, I can at least talk about it uh, so so again this is a uh, stanhu park life in chengdu is known for it for being really relaxed and comfortable so on a good day we just kind of come and hang out in the park. We'll bring some tea with us. There's lots of people that come here to enjoy the scenery, take pictures. Um, it's very common to see like a group of uh, middle-aged old ladies just kind of hanging out, taking pictures, making TikTok videos. You'll see them have their camera stand up and they'll all do the same dance or they'll have a procession where each one will walk towards the camera. So they make some good uh, personal videos. But everybody's just, it's, it's real low key. Uh, everybody's relaxing, having a lot of fun, enjoying the the scenery. But uh, this is a this is a really big park. I think uh, I'm gonna guess it's about three square miles in total if you count the the lake as well. But there's always some place that you can sit down and relax, enjoy the place. Uh, I had, I bought a few hammocks, and. We really like to hang them up in the trees, you know, get a little like tea or something to drink and just relax and talk and have a good time. But apparently um, they frown upon using the, you know, uh, they frown upon using the, um, the hammocks in the trees because it kind of damages the bark a little bit. So you can't use the hammocks in the trees anymore. Uh, you kind of, you kind of do what you want until you can't until somebody says you can't and then you're just respectful enough not to do it again that's general rule of thumb in china so a lot of the laws and regulations are more like suggestions and if you break them most of the time you'll get away with it as long as you're not hurting anybody so uh, yeah this is nanu park uh, i think that'll about do it for today I want to say that uh, I really appreciate your support. Uh, if you want to follow me more, of course, hit the subscribe button. I'll put out one video a day. Just kind of vlogging a little bit. Might not be the most exciting thing, but it'll be reliable enough that you can come back just to see what it's like here, uh, how things are going. And uh, I'll try to bring some more exciting things to the table. But uh, I think you guys are awesome. I love you guys, and I'll uh, see you again tomorrow.